So look, Apex can reproduce a DND filter. I'm going to reproduce a DND filter in the Suki Apex. A DND filter is a type of filter that is attached before a lens. It is a filter whose half of the filter is stacked to reduce the amount of light and the other half is transparent. They are square and round shapes. When shooting a subject with a large contrast between light and dark, apply the dark part of the filter to the bright part of the subject. By doing so, you can reduce brown out highlights and balance the exposure of the entire image. This time, I will try to reproduce a GND filter using the Silky Pex function. Start Silky Pex first. The software used this time is Low Development Software Silky Pex Developer Studio Pro 10. Then open the image you want to adjust. Subject that is a GND filter are often used with such backlight photos and high darkness photos that are largely divided in brightness and darkness in a horizontal and vertical manner. I will use this photo to adjust this time. In this photo, I want to keep the brightness of the ocean area the same. However, the sky is a little light and uh, if I collect the exposure compensation to minus when I take the photo, the color of the sky will come out but the foreground will become even darker. In such a case, the brightness of the DNA filter will be reduced by applying a dark layer from the horizontal line to the top but this time I will reduce it in the Sukipex. This is where the partial collection tool comes in. In the partial collection tool, this time the selection type uses a gradual collection filter to reproduce a DND filter. Now, let me introduce the adjustment method. This icon indicates the partial collection tool. Click this icon to display the several controls of the partial collection tool. Click here for a gradual collection filter. When clicked, these three lines will appear. The earlier above the middle line is wider. This earlier is the collection earlier. Hold the center square so that the collection earlier is from the horizontal line to the top to move the position. There are two types of DND filters. A hard type to make the gradation of the borderly clearer and a soft type to make it smoother. You can adjust the width of the gradient by expanding or narrowing the top and bottom lines for the gradual collection filter. Once this area is set, adjust the blindness of this area with the lightness of this sub-control. In this case, I want to reduce the blindness of the empty area so reduce the lightness. You can balance the entire exposure by reducing the blindness as if you used the energy filter. Points to consider when shooting for photo adjustment. As for the exposure settings on your camera side when shooting low, it is often said, it is best to shoot a little under exposure to prevent overexposure. However, if you lighten and collect the underexposure photo during low development, the noise will be emphasized. For this reason, the key is to set the exposure when shooting so that the highlights of the subject you want to show and not to light. This result in a clean photo without noise as no adjustment is made to make the photo brighter than that. Especially when shooting at high ISO speed, noise may be not stable. It is best to set the exposure as close to your image as possible. However, since it is difficult to visually determine exposure when shooting, you can use your timeless highlight alert mode to check and set the area that should not be blown out highlights. If the gradation, collection, or color reproduction mode of your camera is extreme, the display may differ in JPEG and LOL. Nevertheless, the result of the highlight alert indicator shows the case where the image is encoded in JPEG. Therefore, depending on the camera, it may be possible to reproduce data starving below the broadman even brighten the exposure. Because the reproducible compensation range varies from one camera to another, I recommend that you first test with the camera how light the color and the graduation can be reproduced even with exposure collection. 
By the way, in the case of this photo, the low file was shot at fast from point Delo Ibui. When looking at the photo, it looks like blown out highlights, but when the government, the details have also been reproduced to this point. This is a JPEG image shoot at the same time. However, even if exporter is performed at minus 2.0 EV, the details will not be reproduced like low. When making photo adjustment shooting low, which has a large amount of data, so that you can make adjustment later with minimum image quality degradation. Next, I try adjusting this photo. This time, the brightness of the upper part is just light, but the bottom is a dark photo. In such cases, you can also use the partial collection tool to adjust the brightness of the area below. As an example, click the larger collection filter and rotate it so that the collection area is down by holding the center line. After that, you can brighten down only by adjusting the position and adjusting the lightness to plus. Thus, even if you do not have a filter at the time of shooting, you can adjust it as if you used the GND filter using a partial collection tool later by shooting in low. Try shooting in situations where it is difficult to control exposure when shooting, and by all means, use this tool to make adjustments. You can try this software for free for 30 days, please refer to this video to try it out. I will continue to introduce useful functions of the Sukipex, so press register this channel. Then, thank you for watching.